In this video, we're going to discuss the VCA or the voltage, control, voltage controlled amplifier in Xsynth and envelope generators in general. Um, typical synths, and Xsynth is no exception, use what's called an envelope generator to generate the basically the, the volume profile of a sound. Now, at the moment, every sound that we've been making has just come on as soon as you hit the key and gone off as soon as you let go of the key like this. very sharp, snappy, on, off, on, off, on, off. How that's defined is with these four controls, attack, decay, sustain, and release. It's basically four phases that the sound goes through as it's generated. So the attack phase is basically, this is a time value, defines how long the sound takes to get from zero volume when the key is hit to maximum volume. So at zero, that happens instantly. If you increase this value, and it's sort of an exponential thing in x -tenth, so if you increase it a little bit, you can't really hear much difference. If you increase it quite a bit, you'll hear the sound fade in. And if you set it all the way around, it'll take quite a while to fade in. The decay is also a time value, and the decay and the sustain sort of work together. So we can't really discuss one without discussing the other. The sustain, you can see it's maxed out here, is actually a volume level. So it's the volume level that the sound maintains as you hold the key down. So if we set this low right now, we just get a really quiet sound. How this works is that you've got your attack time, the decay time, yeah, the attack time defines how long it takes to get from zero volume to maximum volume. The decay time defines how long the sound takes to get from maximum volume to the volume set in the sustain value. So if we set this up, and we can set the attack time up as well, we'll set that, we'll leave that as is. So this sound should come in fast and then gradually like smoothly fade down to a, a lower volume level. So you get sort of a percussive effect. And you can of course make that longer. We could make it really short to make it a really sort of punchy percussive sound. That's probably too short to hear. <laughs> you can set this all the way down to zero and the sound will just end as soon as the decay phase finishes. Let's set that back up a bit. Now the release is basically the opposite of the attack. It's another time value and it defines the time from the, that it takes for the sound to go from the sustain volume when you take your finger off the key down to zero volume. So again, so far that's just been instant. But if we set this to a higher value, as soon as we release the key now, the sound sort of lingers on and fades out. So with these four controls, you, can, you can't you can profile every kind of sound, but you can get yeah a lot of different kinds of sounds. So for a string sound, a string ensemble sound, for instance, you might leave these quite high. So the sound sort of comes in and fades away. For a sort of a piano-y kind of sound, you might have a very fast attack and then a longer decay and no sustain. Let's go for something, or this might be sort of a guitarish kind of sound. If we go for a pulse wave, that's probably a bit too slow on the decay, even. Or you might have a longer decay. But if you cut the note off early, 
you might want to have a release time as well, just so it, that last lingering bit of the sound still fades out. With the release time, it's actually important to note here, if the sound hasn't finished either of these sections, so you may not actually be into the sustain phase when you release the key. Um, so the release time will actually go from whenever you release the key and whatever volume the sound is at when you release the key. So in this case, if you're still in the decay phase and the volume is quite loud, it doesn't instantly snap down to zero, even though the sustain is set at zero. It'll fade out from whatever the current volume is when you release the key down to zero based on the release time. So you can do all sorts of different things with envelope generators, you know, profiling different sounds in that way. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for envelope generators. Um, this stuff we'll, we'll talk about again in, probably in the next video.